Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to copy a set of files that falls under a specific time range from one container to another container by using filter by last modified option which is available inside the copy activity. Let's see under which scenario we can use this last modified option. Suppose if you want to pick up the files from a specified uh, date range or time range, you can use this option. Let's say for example, you want to process the file from uh, January 2021 to January 2022, you can use this. Or maybe sometime we need to perform some kind of one-time activity to pick up only the files from a specified uh, time frame. In this case also, you can use this option. We have created this uh, Azure Data Factory from our last video and we have did this copy activity where we will be copying the files from this input container to the output container and we have created a data set for both of the containers you can download the ARM template of this Azure data factory from the video description instead of creating a data set and the copy activity from the scratch you can make use of the ARM template and if you see here, we have selected file path type as prefix and we have specified a student data, which means uh, the last three files will be picked up and processed. So this is what we have uh, did in our last video. In this video, we are going to handle uh, one more condition, which is last modified on. So if you see this, the file last modified is showing up here. We are going to pick up only the files which falls under certain date and time. Now let us get back to our ADF and uh, if you see filter by last modified. So this is the option we are going to use now. Let's have a look at our scenario. So this is our scenario. We need to pick up the file uh, where the last modified date is 11th of March 2022 and the time range should be from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. UTC. And here also if you see we need to specify the time in UTC format only and if you see in container so whatever the time here it is showing up right this is IST meaning like my local time zone to find out which file which will be picked up in case if I provide time as 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. UTC we need to convert it so in order to convert the time we can just google like IST to UTC or UTC to IST and thing is fine so here you need to drag up to the appropriate time for us it is like 8 to 8 30 utc the corresponding indian standard time is 1 to 2 pm and if you see this is the only file which falls under this particular time range which is 1 to 2 pm ist now let's get back to azure data factory and i have noted those timing in a notepad so it is 8 a.m to 8 30 a.m utc and uh, let me select the proper date and in this drop down we will select the time and similarly end date as well start date and then end date so let's specify the date and time and 8 30 a.m is the end time so it will pick up whatever the uh, files under uh, this particular time range and that's it if we run uh, it should be able to pick up that uh, file let's see let it run in the output we will wait for the file to arrive over there let's refresh the status over here yeah got completed and if you see this you will see how many files got copied so number of files copied everything it will show up here now let's cross verify in our uh, container as well in output container if we refresh yeah that single file alone got copied because it falls under specified time range mentioned in the filter by last modified text box and that's it on this video see you on the next video because we have more scenarios to cover under copy activity Thank you for watching this video and I request you to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality.